Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to isolate a phage. So phage hunting can be really fun. You can go anywhere to find phages. You can go to the ocean, you can go to a nice lake, you could go to the park. One of my first experiences phage hunting was actually at a park. So what we did is we turned to geese and duck poop in order to find phages. Uh, I was studying an E. coli at the time that can infect and kill people, but is also found in birds. And so what we thought is that if we could find these bird samples where these E. coli were, the phages would probably be there too. And we could isolate those phages and then purify them and use them as a treatment for this E. coli uh, infection. And so what we did is we went to the park, we had 50 mil conicals and spatulas, and that's really all you need in order to find a phage. So first, you homogenize your sample. This is about half fecal, half buffer. Then you centrifuge. You take the supernate and you filter it. This is a 0.22 micron filter, and this is to remove any bacteria. I use a glass vial sometimes to keep my lysates and my phage. Sometimes you may need to centrifuge a second time to get it through that filter, but don't worry. Eventually, you will get it. Next, you take your plate and your melted auger. I use about three mils of melted auger, and to that I add about 100 microliters of an overnight culture of bacteria. Then I add my fecal filtrate. Add anywhere from 100 to 500 microliters to that same vial. And I mix and I plate. This is a double auger assay. After an overnight incubation at 37, you look for plaques. Sometimes you can look at your plate horizontally to see if there are indentions. That's usually indicative of a bubble and not a plaque. Once you find your plaque, you pick it. I use a glass pipette and some buffer, about 500 microliters per plaque. Do you see the plaque? I pierce right through that plaque and I pipette as much as I can. And then I pipette up and down into the buffer. And that's plaque isolation. You can use that to replate and make a light.